probably heard about fermented foods, right? Right here on our channel, we have already talked about three or four of the foods we will talk about on today's video. If you want to learn more about each one of them, just click on the suggested video. Fermented foods are part of our diet even when we don't even notice them, as is the case with bread, wine, beer, yogurt, sheep or goat cheese, and apple vinegar. Fermenting foods is an old process done by different cultures as a mean to preserve foods and improve general health. And it is not for nothing that they are in vogue in the culinary world nowadays. These foods have many benefits, such as improved digestion, regulates and balances gut flora, improves intestine functioning, aids in vitamin and nutrient absorption, strengthens the immune system, acts against infectious agents, and helps in antibody production. Amazing! The natural process of fermentation uses microorganisms like beneficial bacteria, mold, or yeasts to degrade proteins and sugars, changing the taste and texture of foods. However, some fermented foods that are considered different to us have become more popular in the last few years. Do you want to know what these fermented foods with probiotics are? Sauerkraut Sauerkraut is a pickle made of fermented cabbage, considered a typical dish of the German culinary, and eaten all around the world. The base of sauerkraut is cabbage cut in thin slices. We have taught you how to make it. Its fermentation process takes approximately six days, which makes its vitamin C levels increase by bacterial activity that also produces B-complex vitamins and enzymes. B-complex vitamins play an important role in keeping our bodies working as well-tuned machines. You can eat it alone or on bread, or as a side dish for rice and other dishes. Kefir. There are two types of kefir, milk and water. Very similar to yogurt, milk kefir is usually more acid since it is a probiotic made by milk fermentation and has a high nutritional value. Water kefir can be obtained through fermentation of water and brown sugar, which is perfect for vegan people. According to studies, kefir can improve digestion, intestinal health, treats inflammations, and improves bone health. Kombucha. Kombucha is a probiotic beverage obtained through the fermentation of green or black tea or other caffeine-rich infusions. It makes kombucha the perfect ally for those who want to lose some weight since it regulates the intestine, accelerates the metabolism, and limits fat buildup. It can be drunk any time of the day and some people consider it a natural soda. Timpa. Tempa, originally from Indonesia, is made through fermentation of soybeans and can be considered a meat substitute, a great option for vegetarians and vegans. It is great for people who suffer from high blood sugar levels, acting in the body to reduce the glucose levels. Natto. Natto is a Japanese probiotic. It is made through fermented soybeans and has a high fiber content, which improves digestive health and constipation. It also reduces cholesterol and normalizes blood pressure. Miso. Another Japanese fermented food, miso is obtained through soy fermentation. Having high levels of isoflavones, it alleviates symptoms of menopause, attenuates PMS, and fights cholesterol. Kimchi. Kimchi is a Korean dish. It has many different preparations, but its traditional recipe is done with fermented chard with spices such as garlic, ginger, and red pepper. It helps with digestion, regulates the intestine, and helps in weight loss by boosting the metabolism and promoting satiety. Kimchi also helps the body process carbs. These foods are amazing, aren't they? Which ones did you already know and eat? Fermented foods also work as a detox since they stimulate the elimination of toxins and heavy metals. They can also improve your mood as they stimulate serotonin production. Soon we will teach you how to make these amazing foods at home. Stay tuned. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.